seems unjust for even the most heinous sins in a finite lifetime to be punished by the infinity of unspeakable suffering and indescribable torture. The confusion has arisen over the difference between smoke, which Revelation 14 says ascends forever and ever, and fire, which Isaiah 33 describes as both devouring and everlasting. There is an all-consuming, devouring, everlasting fire, but it won't be used to torture the last. When this biblical passage is properly understood, the Heavenly Father is revealed to be the same loving, compassionate, long-suffering, tender Father He has always been. To learn more, listen to the radio program titled Living and Dying by the Everlasting Burning. But living and dying by the Everlasting Burning. Your faith will be strengthened and your love deepened once you understand precisely what the everlasting burnings are and what they mean to you. Also, live radio programs can be listened to on ourclasschance.com or look for them on YouTube. Now, this is a very interesting concept to me. That as far back as the temptation before the fall, the idea that we as humans just aren't good enough, we can still. I think had Adam and Eve remained obedient and resisted temptation, this would not have taken hold on the human psyche as it has. But it has grabbed onto us and it hasn't let go. And you can see it across time and worldwide. This is the lie that we've all embraced that we are not good enough. So you said, well, how 